Uh, okay, so uh, the next person I'm going to have to ask you, uh, it's going to be Saranya, but because we have the um, break in the in pretty much in the middle of what you're saying for applause, just bear that in mind and we'll, we'll try and be a bit more flexible for you in terms of uh, hearing what you have to say. Um, congratulations on being a founder of Socialist of Colour and um, please tell us about it. We're fascinated and, in, and keen to be of help. Sure. So um, we founded Socialists of Colour just a couple of weeks ago. We're quite a new organisation. Um, and the reason we did it was because most of us just felt very frustrated um, by the failures we've seen from Labour in tackling racism, both inside the party and in our policies externally and trying to tackle it in the country. Um, so we decided to create a place um, a space for socialist people of colour within the party and outside of the party. We're not exclusively a Labour Party group. We welcome activists from the wider left as well um, in order to have a space to organise, educate and campaign on issues and policies that affect us as people of colour the most. Um, so one of the main things that caused us to do this was because we felt like there was quite a void in the party when it came to BAME representation and the fight for radical anti-racism. I think all of us are quite aware of the fact that, especially in recent years, we, as BAME people in the party, we haven't had a lot of representation. BAME Labour hasn't been very good at holding the party to account or being very democratic or accessible for the majority of BAME Labour members. I think a lot of people might be surprised to know that in 2017 there was over 70,000 BAME Labour members which is a really sizable majority but I think a lot of us feel like our voices are rarely really heard and appreciated in the party. Um, we don't, apart from our seats on the NEC currently we don't have any um, elected representation that we can hold accountable and that can in turn hold the party accountable on issues of racism and in terms of like pushing our policy goals for that affect us as people of colour so that's really what we wanted to focus on our whole thing is really founded in focusing on the policies that affect people of colour most and that's where our campaigns are going to lead us our first campaign that we started is centered around the coronavirus crisis because obviously we thought it was very topical since it has affected BAME people in the UK the most um, same deaths have been astronomical and especially now with everyone going back to work um, a lot of the careers that are going to be affected are ones that have disproportionate BAME representation in them so that's something we definitely wanted to draw account to and we're going to be campaigning on in the near future. Um, another thing that we wanted to do was we wanted to sort of move the fight for anti-racism in the party beyond just issues of representation because while representation is brilliant and BAME representation and seeing more BAME individuals in high positions in the party is great, we don't believe that that's sort of enough to solve all our issues and we feel that it really needs to be paired with a radical sense of anti-racism that will um, question and hold to account structural racism wherever we see it. We don't just want to sort of have more BAME representation in the party that doesn't actually try and dismantle the sort of white status quo that we've ended up with, um, since that's kind of where we're at right now, where we don't feel that BAME voices really get heard or get amplified enough. Um, in terms of factionalism, we don't see ourselves as affiliated to any faction in particular um, but we are as it says in our name we are socialists of colour and our anti-racism is really founded in a radical socialist politics that aims to dismantle all of the structural barriers in society that we feel contribute to discrimination and to racism um, so that's why we also welcome people from outside of labour because we're aware that a lot of BAME activists in particular feel quite alienated by the party sometimes and are not able to sort of enthusiastically um, 
involve themselves in the electoral process. So we want to sort of maintain and organize a movement of socialist people of color throughout the country um, that want to organize and campaign on these issues. Um, we do want to support um, radical socialists and anti-racists within the party um, when they stand for elections. Um, but we also do want to encourage all the factions to sort of campaign on these issues um, that affect people of colour and to campaign for better BAME representation in terms of our internal structures, because that's very much not a factional thing. That's just something that we should all be working towards. Um, in terms of, I think you asked about like white allies um, and how people can help in the party. Um, that's something we've been talking about quite a bit and we think it's quite an interesting question. Um, we definitely welcome white allies to help in our campaigns in, in Socialists of Colour. Um, I think the main way that people in Labour can really do that successfully is by listening to minorities and platforming our voices and never trying to sort of speak over us because that definitely has been an issue in the party in the past. Um, so I would just encourage any white ally that wants to sort of get involved with these groups and campaign with us to sort of be there for us, support our struggle and support our campaign. Um, but obviously, first and foremost, foremost, platform minority voices above your own. Um, and educate yourself, continue educating yourself at every turn you can on race issues, you know, like as much as you may think you know about racism, it will never sort of compare to the lived experience that we've shared as people of colour and as ethnic minorities. So I think it's really important for white people to continue educating themselves throughout their lives, no matter how much campaigning or anti-racism you've done. I think we know that that doesn't always equate to always getting it right. Um, so yeah, that's, is there any other? That was super efficient, Saranya, and I really, uh, I, pro and, uh, I, I probably, I'm sure people will have loads of questions. Um, 